Can a Suzuki Jimny that's been tuned and fitted with a turbocharger out accelerate a classic legend of the hot hatch scene from the 1980s, the Peugeot 205 GTI 1.9. We're gonna find out by drag racing them over the standing quarter mile. And we've also got my very own standard Suzuki Jimny there to show you exactly how slow a Jimny normally is. Anyway, let's do this. I'm Matt Watson and you're watching Car Wow. Buy, sell, car, wow. Now let me tell you about this Suzuki Jimny. It's been modified by a company called Twisted and they basically turned it into a baby AMG G63. So as you can see, the interior is clad with lovely leather. We've had a lift kit fitted to it, a rated suspension, a rated dampers, but the most important thing is the turbocharger fitted to the 1.5 litre engine. As a result, this thing puts out 170 horsepower and 200 newton metres of torque. It's got a switchable all-wheel drive system, but for this, we're going to be running in Rear wheel drive mode. It's quite a light car, weighs in at just under 1.1 tons, heavier than a standard Jimny because of the mods and the big knobbly tyres, which could go against me when launching. The price of all these mods though, they don't come cheap. So you've got £20,000 for your Suzuki Jimny van because you can't get a normal Suzuki Jimny with rear seats in the UK anymore, only the commercial vehicle version. Then there's an extra £40,000 for all the modifications you see on this vehicle. 60 grand for a Jimny. Oof. Now let's just get the comparable stats from Nick of the standard Jimny. Hey Nick, you all right? Oh, I'm very good, Matt. I love being back in a Jimny. These cars are great, aren't they? And that is my very own Jimny, which I hope you'll take good care of. Anyhow, can you give me the stats on the standard Jimny so we can compare it to this twisted version? I certainly can. So an untwisted standard Jimny comes with the same basic 1.5 litre four cylinder engine, only it's naturally aspirated. That means you get 101 horsepower and 130 newton metres of torque not very much. You get the same five-speed manual gearbox, same four-wheel drive system, only we're gonna run it in rear-wheel drive here. This car weighs 1,035 kilograms, and in terms of price... I'm gonna to defer to you, actually, Matt. How much did you pay for this Jimny? So I think the car itself was about £20,000 when I bought it. It's the SZ5, so it's the range top. You've got alloy wheels, you've got the entertainment system. You have rear seats unlike this Jimny, and you had LED headlights. But then I had some options fitted to it, such as this shiny plasticky bits of trim, a slightly different grille, the shiny rear wheel cover. I've actually got diff guards that I've never taken it off-roading, and um, I've got a tow bar on it and the reversing camera. I think that added about £4,000 or something to it, so it was about 24, 25 grand all in. Though, they've gone up in value, because they're quite rare. I think that one, £30,000, maybe 35, though I'm never ever gonna sell it, because while I can buy cars, I don't seem ever able to sell them on again and just like a hoarder of cars. Anyhow, let's find out about the car that this Jimny is actually trying to beat. The 205 GTI, the legend that is the best hot hatch ever created, apparently. This is the best hot hatch ever created, no question. Really? The OG, isn't it? This is the one. Do you remember the ad with the helicopters and the explosions? Okay. <laughs> You don't remember that? You're, you're way older than me. How can I remember that and you can? I'm so old now, I've started to get a little bit forgetful. <laughs> anyway, this is a 1.9. It's not the silly 1.6 version, which I don't know why they did. 16 valve, 130 horsepower, 161 newton meters of torque, front wheel drive, five speed manual, which is very, very cool. But this only weighs 860 kgs. This actual one is fully rebuilt and it's beautiful and it's worth about 25,000 pounds. 25,000 pounds? It's a lot of money. I thought finally I'm in a car that's not going to break the bank if I crash it on one of these drag races and then I found out the value and nope. Okay, so that car will cost the same that I paid for my Jimny. Would you rather have that 205 or my Jimny? Think carefully. That's a really tricky question. If it's an extra car in the stable, this. If I have to have it and live with it, it would be the Jimny. Nick, you can take one home tonight. Which one are you taking home, my Jimny or that 205 GTI? Can I make that decision after the drag race? That's going to be slower, we know that. Just make the decision now. Oh no, I, I didn't mean speed, I meant uh, is the 205 still going to be in one piece? If so, I'll have that. Traitor. Now before we race, let's do the customary car wow sound check. So I am going to rev up this Jimny. Ooh. Loving the blow off from the turbo. Nick, do you want to show the world exactly what a normal Jimny sounds like? Anyway, let's hear some old schoolness from a time when soft limiters didn't exist. Uh, 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 uh. 
sounds like the 80s. That is the sound of the 80s, isn't it? What year is that car actually? We're going to find out that it's a 91, aren't we? I don't know. No, it's eight, I'm sure it's 80s. What's the reg? So the Peugeot is a 1993 car. Also, it's an eight-valve Sam, and apparently Darren tells me it's 121 new meters. So can you just say eight-valve and then a pause, and then just say 121 new meters, and we'll just make it work in the edit? Well, no, let's just leave it like this. We're finding out things as we go. So let's correct ourselves. The 205 GTI was originally launched in the 80s, so we're not wrong there, Sam. Kind of. Your car is a 93, though. So. Yeah. Okay. Now the 1.9, could you get a 16 valve version of the 1.9? So that is the suboptimal 1.9? So I guess it is, yeah. The 1.6 version was only 16 valve, wasn't it? No, only 8 valve. So the 1.6 was only 8 valve, the 1.9 was either 8 valve or 16 valve, and if you could have one you want the 16 valve on because it's a little bit more revvy, is that correct? I mean performance though, marginal, but yeah, I guess so. When was the 1.9 introduced? What year do you know? D6. So it is from the 80s, that's just a late one. So what were the figures you need to say then, Sam? I don't know, because Rory gave me the wrong stat sheet again. He Ron Burgundy me twice today now. For the last time, anything you put on that prompter, Burgundy will read. 121 horsepower and 1.9 litre, eight valve. 122. We're all good, you good? Are you good? Glad we got through that, that was chaos. I don't know about you, but I think the quality of banter might have taken a bit of a hit today. We're all a bit tired. <laughs> it is the end of the day. Before we go any further, if you're thinking of changing your car, you can do it through CarWow. You can sell your current car through CarWow and dealers all across the country will bid on it and you can choose and then buy your next car, new or used, through CarWow as well and make sure you're paying a fair price for it. Now, if you want to check that out now, click on the pop-out banner up there. I'll follow the link in the description below. Alternatively, just simply Google Help Me Car Wow and we will help you change your car. And the service is completely free. Oh, let's race. Three, two, one. Come on, Jimmers. Come on, Jimny! Oh, look at this, destroy an old school hot hatch. Maybe it's because it's only got eight valves. Oh, where's that Kia? Come on. I won that. I got too much wheel spin. I need it. I need another go. Okay. All right, then. How was that? Slow? No, it was rapid, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, it was pretty slow. Poor car. Okay, that's one nil to me. Best two out of three. Stop, 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 stop. I have a plan. See you. What's he doing? Is he trying to deadlift the car? I can't see what Sam's doing from here, but I can see a Peugeot rocking up and down, which is uh, concerning me. Did you used to go around stealing alloy wheels from Peugeot 205, Sam? Because that looked all too familiar to you. It was in my way. When I got in the car, I saw this excess weight that I didn't want. So I have a solution. Here we go. Let's see if that helps Sam. I think he's probably reduced his weight by, t I don't know, 10 kilos or something, 20? Three, two, one. We've got a better launch that time. Oh, blimey, he's off. Sam's ahead. He's really going for it now. I thought I was going to have him. Come on, Jimmers! <laughs> His little wheel holder is jacking on the ground. I can't find that bloody fourth gear. Oh, that was a much better launch. And because you're lighter, you won. 
I did win. I won by a good amount. Yeah, I struggle going from third to fourth. It just doesn't like it. Anyway, best two out of three, one each, decider. No, this is an old car and you need to treat it with respect. I think that shows the true value of the car and how quick it is. I think we can end it there and just go straight to the rolling. Is there a problem? The thing dropped that holds the wheel up, look. <laughs> You're such a rat. <laughs> so you had some extra drag, quite literally. Yeah, I You'll did. You'll go quicker still. <laughs> See, when you're stealing the wheels, you don't bother putting them back up, do you, afterwards? <laughs> Little thief. This is the decider. Is there anything else you want to remove from your car? Maybe the seats? This seat is a little bit loose, and I wonder... No, no, it's fine. What about the nut behind the wheel? <laughs> it's funny, that Nick. It's all fine, it wasn't fully in first, so I, I popped it out quickly, I didn't want to risk anything. You're welcome, Darren. The way you've worded that in a way is like, this is the car's fault, you've helped out the owner by saving his car from its own fault, and it's nothing to do with the fact that you didn't manage to put it into first gear correctly yourself. <laughs> Technically, you cocked up, and therefore I won. You won nothing. You, saw, I beeped. I stopped. You went, carried on. You, you did your own race. You'll always win if you race yourself, won't you? Well, I was racing myself in my own car. It wasn't the car's fault. You just didn't select first, did you? Come on, be honest. Imagine you're back in your therapist chair. <laughs> <laughs> did you select first properly? Yes or no? Now you're making me question myself. Was the car properly in first? Yes or no? I thought it was. But then when you went to drive away, did it appear to be properly in first or not? No, it was like in a halfway house and it popped back. So I, yeah, I will, maybe I didn't push it in correctly into first. In my defense, I don't have gorilla arms because first is somewhere in the bulkhead. So the car wasn't in first properly. It's a manual gearbox, which is operated by you. <laughs> Therefore, and I'm just putting two and two together. Maybe you didn't put it into first properly. Maybe, but. If you'll notice, the ground is very dry now, so maybe that was the plan. Okay, let's just do it. I'll, I'll give you a free pass on that one. Let's just do this final race. That one didn't count. Bloody hell, Sam and his excuses. Three, two, one. Oh my God, amazing start there. Come on, Jimmers. Oh, he's coming now. Don't mess up this third to fourth map. Come on! I didn't mess it up, but it's booting past now. And I've got to say, that is the best time I've done in this car. I ain't going to do any better. And I was just pipped by <laughs> him. <laughs> so Sam, can you tell me, did your car manage to put itself into first gear correctly that time? Yep, the car behaved itself and it stayed in first gear where I put it in the first place. And I came first in the race. Uh, Nick, I mean, what's it like when you see this just zip off? I tell you what, it makes me wonder if I haven't put this in first gear, seeing a seemingly identical Jimny just blast off into the sunset. I can't believe how quick that thing is. That's awesome. So then what exactly happened? Well, the Peugeot won. It completed the standing quarter mile. 
in 16.6 seconds. The twisted Jimny took 16.9 seconds and the standard Jimny came last with a time of 19.5 seconds. Now we're going for a rolling race from around 40 miles an hour. The car's going to be in third gear, race to the half mile. Here we go then. Three, two, one, go. Boost, mate, boost. No! And the race is already over for me. Here comes Matt's gear shift. What's really interesting in that race is just how far behind my chimney is. Here comes Nick. Oh my gosh. Do you think I should get my chimney tuned? Because it's so slow, isn't it? <laughs> you absolutely should, 100%. I quite like that it's slow. It's part of its charm, but this is way more fun. Oh, I can't lie. Another victory there, Samuel. Yeah, but you see, I think on this one, that was gear ratio and length more than power. I think if you didn't have to change 19 gears through that whole Thing. I was in third gear for almost the entire thing. By the time I pulled to fourth, I was well ahead of you. You've always been able to hold it longer. <laughs> Sorry. I, I knew it. Okay, final thing to do, let's do it. You know what it is. Now we're gonna have a brake test from 70 miles an hour. Hopefully my Jimny will get to 70 before we reach the line. When we do full emergency stop, for a bit of added jeopardy, we're not sure whether the 205 has ABS or not, and we haven't allowed Sam to try it out to see, so he's gonna have to just do his best. Here comes the line now. Slipping it! Jimneys may be more modern than a 205, but they get absolutely spanked by it in almost every single regard, don't they? Well, one of them did. I was quite impressed by how well this one stopped. You do have some uh, knobbly old tyres on yours though, don't you? Which uh, probably didn't help in the brake test. No, they didn't help at all. We've both got drum brakes on the back. I'm not sure if that 205 has got drum brakes on the back, but that was a bit more common back in the 80s. Less so in the, um, well, 2018 was the first of this generation of chimney. But there is one thing we can do that the 205 can't, and it's this. You know I'll follow you. <laughs> this is where we drive them down a massive hole. Look, we're in chimneys. We can get where we please. We're in chimneys. Jimneys. Jimneys are better. Look, Jimneys. Jimneys are better. They're better. Everybody loves Jimneys. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a like. Huge thanks to Darren for lending us his lovely 205. If you click on those windows there, you can watch some more videos. And on that box there, to go to Car Wow to Silly Car the Easy Way. Just upload some photos, give a brief description, then dealers all across the country will bid on your car in an auction. Spirit Charge, see you next time. Oh, look at it, isn't it lovely? Lovely, look at it, my car that is.